Hi Libra, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your January 2018 love and general reading. So uh, I'm not going to start any introductory. Uh, I'm going to go straight into the reading, but I do want to say that underneath this video, there's a little icon with all my information on it. Okay, Libra, let's get straight into your reading. Uh, I was already starting to shuffle the cards here, and um, some of you, Libra, are going to be suffering from a broken heart. Okay, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, it could be that there was a third-party situation. Um, but there is some of you out there, Libra. Now, it's not for all of you Libras, okay, but some of you are going to be suffering uh, in January with a broken heart. Maybe uh, this started even before, okay, uh, it could be like, then, you know, three days ago or three weeks ago or, um, you know, it's hap it's going to happen in January. And, um, you know, I feel that it's going to be a, a turn of events for you. Uh, there is something that's coming towards you. You do have the Wheel of Fortune, okay, that's coming towards you, okay, something is going to change. Um, I see that you're resisting uh, someone that's coming in to try to offer you love. It could be from this uh, heartbreak situation that you're having, okay? Uh, if there was a third-party situation, if it wasn't a third-party situation, well, something did break your heart, okay? Uh, maybe some communication came through that you didn't like to hear for some of you Libras. There is someone that's coming in to offer you. Maybe the person that hurt you is coming in to offer you, <coughs> to, <coughs> excuse me, to offer you, um, some love, but uh, right now uh, this is crossing you, so it's like an obstacle or a challenge that's there for you, and there's not going to be um, and there, there's not going to be a, a a start or a new beginning with the, with this person if it is a person, okay, that's coming in for you, which is like a younger sign could be of uh, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces. But again, this is a general reading, so it could be any sign. If you want to know about more about you, something in particular, then you need to uh, contact me, and I will give you a, a personal reading, okay? So let's see what else is going on for you, Libras. What are the messages? Libra for January 2018. What are the messages? What are the messages for Libra? Some guys, maybe. Too many cards. <coughs> yeah, too many cards. What are the messages for Libra? Some rising and Venus. Okay. A lot of you are re-evaluating everything. You're looking back. You're looking at everything possible. Like you're looking at everything and you're re-evaluating everything because you did get the Seven of Pentacles. And um, this is in the near future. You're going to, you are going to start re-evaluating everything all over again. There is going to be a quick message coming in, very unexpected, with uh, truthfulness and tact. Okay, the, something that's going to be coming in it could be a younger sign of, uh, you know, um, Gemini, uh, Libra, or um, Aquarius as well. But again, this is a general reading, okay? Um, or some of you are, could, are dealing with a Leo, okay? You're, some of you are also dealing with a Leo, but you will have strength to go through this this heartbreak that you're having here, okay? I feel that a lot of you already knew that this was coming towards you. Not all of you, but some of you knew okay, that um, the person you were dealing with was talking to a lot of people. I do feel this for some of you, okay. Uh, you've been working very hard on yourself. Uh, you've been working very hard at a job or working hard on yourself and, uh, you know, a lot of self-love, a lot of self-affirmations, I do feel here. And um, like I said, there is something beautiful that's coming towards you. The wheel of fortune is coming towards you. It's positive. It's going to bring you blessings, okay, Libra? So let's go deeper into the reading, see what else I can, what else there is to say here for Libra for January 2018. What are the messages for Libra for January 2018? Oh, too many cards came out. Okay, but these cards wanted to come out, so I have to take them out. Yeah, I, it, it clearly states to me that there was like, there was more than one person involved, okay? And, um, you know, uh, you thought that you were growing and evolving with this person to a better, like you were grow going somewhere with this person, but it, here it's telling me it's false. 
could also be you were dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or an Aries, okay, uh, very, um, you know, um, very char character, you know, they were very charming, um, you know, very flirty, you know, um, in and out all the time, you know, they weren't stable, okay, I, I see this, there's a lot of uh, signs here, so it could be any sign, uh, but I do definitely see that this person had Leo, or they had Sagittarius in their dirt in their in their chart okay i do see this is there anything else here Love you. Okay, uh, Libra, you're standing in your power. You you have balance because you're having the wheel of fortune here that's coming towards you, and you've been working very hard on yourself. You're working very hard. Okay, so there's something that you uh, justice is going to be on your on your side. You've been working very hard at something, very very hard. It could be the, at, at, at a job, it could be in on yourself. Okay, but you made a decision, and there's a lot of balance here. The only thing that you are suffering from is a broken heart, okay? And this has to do with love. And um, you're refusing to start afresh with this person, okay? Whoever this person is. Uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to take these cards here to clarify. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, for January. I already shuffled the cards before, but I'm just going to refresh them. What are the messages for Libra? <coughs> Sorry for my cough, guys. Yeah, I love you. We're dealing with someone that was, like, very aggressive, I find. Maybe they never showed you that sign, but they probably were very aggressive, very... With their words, you know, um, again... Um, uh, they, um, you know, uh, aggressiveness, uh, rash, you know, uh, behavior, um, not in, they were not in their power, like they were, these people were not, whoever that you were dealing with, they're showing me a fire energy here, they were not in their element, but they kept coming in and out of your life, um, they, uh, there was also a sense of, um, you know, um, I feel there was a lot of fighting, you know, that, that there was fighting between both of you, but there's something that happened here. It was a message that was delivered to you that you probably didn't like. You, you did not want to hear this because it really broke you, you know, and you can't seem to go back to where you were with this person, I feel, Libra. And the messages are delayed at this moment, maybe because you're not responding. There was a lot of fighting going on, you see, but it was in the past, okay? But you were, there was fighting going on. And right now the messages are delayed between both of you. So probably you're not talking to each other at this moment. You feel left in the dark. You feel that you were left out of a situation. That you weren't, you weren't, you, you didn't know the truth about something. Okay. <coughs> again, I'm getting again the two cards the same. Page of Cups coming in. Both at the same time. In the same area. So they're trying to offer you some love. They're trying to offer you, they're trying to show you that they care about you, but you don't want to hear them, okay? Because this really hurt you. Whatever information they gave you, you thought that the this person that you were with, Libra, it was all your dreams come true, okay? But um, you've been doing a lot of crying, okay? You've been doing a lot of crying, and um, this person, again, you see, Libra, this person was hiding a lot of stuff from you. They were trying to get away from stuff. They were trying to get away. They were trying to get away from hiding stuff from you, okay? They were trying to get away with stuff. And there was not enough love there. <coughs> there was not enough love. There was a lot of deception here with this person. And you, you finding out the truth about that really broke your heart. But this is only in one area of your life because in your finances... Okay, and uh, your health, you are doing very well, and you're reevaluating everything now. Again, you're going to be getting, in, you're going to get, in the, in the recent past, you must have got a message 
that came in, very tactful, very truthful, not very loving, very truthful. Okay, uh, doesn't mean it has to be a bad message, but in this case here, in the recent past, this person that came to tell you this message really broke you. Okay, it was something that you did not expect. Again, I'm seeing uh, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay, again, when they're reversed, uh, it tells me that, that they're not in their element. Um, you know, they could be very, um, with their words, they could be very harsh, uh, very aggressive. Uh, and you know when uh, very fiery you know and uh, right now it's like your soulmate energy with this person this is your soulmate okay uh it's reversed meaning that you are not together for some of you you're not together for others of you you're you're separate okay but there's an imbalance going on right here okay and there's no new beginning again i got the beginning the full card upside down that you're not going forth okay you got it twice at the same time, the same place. So it's showing me that you, uh, you're not, you're not gonna jump in and dive in because, you know, uh, this is the worst card you could get, Libra. I hope you're listening, okay? Because this is the worst card you could get in a reading, is the Seven of Swords. This is someone that's trying to hide stuff, not being truthful, okay? Trying to get away with something, okay? Very deceitful, a lot of lies, manipulation, okay? You, I feel like you cut off this person. You got the page of swords. You cut off this person. Um, you know, and now you're 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 looking out into your future, in your near future, like you're in the moment, and you're looking to see where you're gonna do, where you're gonna go. Okay, uh, what are your plans? Because there is a wheel of fortune that's coming towards you, so something positive is coming towards you. I'm very proud of you. Um, again, you got the wheel of fortune twice. You got the Wheel of Fortune twice, Libra. Something beautiful that's coming for you, for all this heartache that you've been going, that you, you've been in, okay? <coughs> You're going to be getting a message. Again, um, a younger energy message. Um, could be of, again, fire sign. I see a fire sign here, so I feel like I'm reading for someone here. Very passionate. It's coming in very passionate. Uh, they want to show you um, they want to show you that, uh, you know, could be that this is another person or someone new that's coming in. They want to show you love. But this person here is thinking too much in the future and is not present in the moment. They're too much futuristic. And there's too many options around this person. There's too many people around this person. Okay, so just be careful of that. There's a lot of secrets, okay? Um, it could be you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It could be a Pisces... Uh, could be also a cancer moon, but I, I see this more as uh, a person that owns dogs also, maybe two dogs, you know, uh, they probably, they look like wolves, the dogs, um, but I feel that uh, they're not, there's a lot of information that you still don't know, <coughs> okay, sorry, that you still, there's a lot of information that you don't know yet, okay, about this person, um, a lot of things that have to be put on the table, I told you here, I already got the deception card. This is the card where someone's hiding something, trying to get away from with with something. And here is another card to show me that, uh, you know, there's more lies here, more things that need to be said here, Libra, that are not being told yet. Okay, you don't know yet. Okay, and uh, in the near future, you will, um, you will recover. Okay, um, this is something that you will recover from this broken heart. Okay, you will recover. <coughs> Okay, um, there's someone in that's going to try to come in. Um, you're going to be moving forward with your life, but there is going to be like a younger energy of Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. It could be any sign that will try to come in to bring you love. But just make sure this person has genuine life love for you because I feel that their cup is empty here, Libra. Someone from the past is trying to come back. Someone from the past is trying to come back, or you're 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 looking back in your past, and uh, you know you're feeling nos nos nostalgic, okay? But it could also be that you're dealing with someone from the past because we were in Mercury retrograde. It could be that you were attached to a Capricorn. Here it shows me that you are not attached to them anymore, that you let go of this person. You were bonded to them in the past. Maybe this is the person that you, I, I broke your heart, Libra, but this is a person from the past. Okay, and it shows me here that you are not attached to them and you broke and cut. 
cut um, communication. And here I feel also with the ten. I know this is a bad card. It looks bad, but it's not. This person really hurt you. To the, you know, you went through a lot of things with this person. You put up with a lot of things, and this is the last of it. Okay, that's not gonna happen because the, the sun is shining here. You see, and uh, you're gonna recover from this, and you're gonna find balance within yourself. Okay, it could also be that you're gonna be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Libra, or uh, Gemini, as well. Okay. Or an emperor, someone that's older than you, that's going to be coming in for you. Okay, an emperor. And, uh, you know, um, someone that will take care of you. Someone that's financially stable and has a fatherly figure. Okay? And uh, you're going to be working and evolving and growing with this person. It could also be at a, a, a job front or it's a, someone that you will get close to and you will evolve and grow. This person is going to help you. Okay? There's something that you're not seeing still. Something that's being shown in front of you. Okay. Maybe you don't want to see it. Maybe you're not interested in seeing it. You're bored. You see everything. You just have to be aware, okay? Be aware of who this person that's coming in for you. Um, you need to have patience. There's gonna be you you're gonna have patience and victory. Some of you are gonna be starting a new project. Oh my god, beautiful. So what I see here, okay is that you're going to have the strength to go through this, okay? Maybe some of you were dealing with a Leo, okay? And uh, you will be very patient. Divine timing. You trust the universe and faith in the universe in what they will bring you. And uh, this is the most beautiful card that you could get in the reading. So you did get uh, temperance, okay? Uh, it could be also you're, you're going to be dealing with a Sagittarius, a fire sign. This is going to be victory around this person. It's going to be victory, okay? Some of you are going to be pregnant also. And others of you are going to be doing something, uh, a new project, working on something that's going to be victorious, okay? And then rebirth as well. And you're going to be very clear, okay? You're not going to, you're going to speak very clearly. You're going to know, you're going to know what you want. Say what you want. Whatever you desire is going to come out of your mouth very clearly. You're going to cut away through all bullshit, through all circumstances, people. You're cutting a lot of people out of your life as well. Okay? You're making things very clear for yourself. So it's a very beautiful card. Okay? You're reevaluating it. You're going to keep reevaluating yourself. Some of you are going to feel stuck. Okay? But that's just in your mind. You're not, you're, you know, Spirit is asking me here that you need to keep working on yourself. You need to work on yourself. Self love, self affirmation. And um, know your worth, okay? And what happened in the past is doesn't define who you are, okay? If uh, something did not go right. Uh, in the near future, in the future, there is a divine partnership that's coming towards you, okay? So there is a divine partnership. I feel that it's with this older gentleman, uh, Aries, okay? It could also be um, a Sagittarius or Leo. But I've, I, 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 more like a fatherly figure, I feel here for you. But there is a, a divine partnership that's coming for you. And you're going to have a happy home. You're going to have a happy home. A lot of celebrations. I also feel marriage here for some of you. And maybe some of you also will get, you are going to get pregnant in 2018 here. Okay. And this is a gift that's coming towards you. Okay. Like uh, you've been waiting for this. Have patience, uh, Libra. It's coming in because you do have patience. Because something beautiful is coming in. A gift from the universe. Okay. It could be love. It could be monetary. It could be anything in reality. But... Um, you know, um, it's something that um, that's coming in for you because you have you had so much trust and faith in divine timing. Okay, um, happy home, happy family, a lot of happiness, um, divine union that's here. Okay, and um, you know, you're not gonna have your you're not gonna have the weight on your shoulders anymore. You're gonna feel free. Okay, you're gonna feel free. You're going to have a new beginning also. Ten of Pentacles, again, another beautiful card, Libra. New beginnings and finances and love underneath the roof. Like underneath your roof, you know, people, friends, uh, and everybody that you care about is here. Okay? New beginnings. Very beautiful. And a lot of you are resting right now. You're resting, you're meditating. A lot of you are also uh, clearing and um, clearing meditating on your heart chakra, your throat chakra, and your crown chakra. 
you're healing yourself, you're resting because you're tired. You know, there's a lot of work for you to do. You did so much work. You've been working so much in detail. And you really need time for yourself because in the future there will be celebration for you. Okay, Libra? I hope you enjoyed your reading. Let me see what it's in store for you for the Romance Angels. I already shuffled the cards. I'm just going to take the cards here and shuffle them again. What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Libra. For January 2018. What are the messages here for Libra? What are the messages for Libra? Messages in for Libra. Too many cards. What are the messages for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2018. Okay, you got two. Some of you are going higher in a relationship. You did get engagement. I also see marriage for a lot of you. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are going to get engaged. Some of you that are single are going to meet somebody. Those of you that have been with somebody for a long time, you're going to get engaged. And I do. I did also see marriage in your um, in your uh, card reading. So there is an engagement going on and you're going to have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart, uh, conversations. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, Honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And uh, it's worth waiting for. This is all about the divine timing. Your divine partnership. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Look at that. <laughs> this is not a coincidence that this card came out for you. It, worth waiting for. Okay, Libra? So, um, I want to wish you a happy new year. Thank you for watching and listening to your uh, reading. Okay, and I wish you a new year full of uh, love, unconditional love, uh, beautiful blessings, you know, happiness, joy, prosperity. Also, don't forget that uh, the full moon is uh, January 1st of Cancer. Don't forget to do your moon ritual and then afterwards write your intentions on a book in detail of what you would like 2018 to look for you and because uh, it's a very powerful um, January I wish you the best and I'll see you in mid month of January okay take care I love you bye